the cold is starting to have an impact. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Rivera continues our live coverage from the northwest side. Mark. Yeah, guys, city water has been here for a couple hours trying to excavate, find and fix the problem. But you can see what they left behind. They say they did figure out the problem and fix it, but not before a family's basement apartment flooded on one of the coldest days of the year. You know what it is to find your furniture floating in December? That's not fun. It's not a good way to wake up. Rose Baelish and her family are trying to recover from a flood that's all but ruined their holiday season. This morning, my husband's going to work and he sees water all over it going downstairs. My daughter's apartment's full of water. They have their Christmas tree up, they have presents underneath, everything is gone. City Water says the break is fixed now, but these dangerously cold temperatures and wind chills are sticking around until at least the new year. And community activists are worried about seniors living in Chicago Housing Authority homes who say they don't have enough heat. I had to sleep with three blankets, socks, and three shirts. That shouldn't happen to our seniors. I mean, these are their golden years. They should be, this should be the best time of their life. And they shouldn't be worried about having heat or having to use space heaters or having to use ovens or the top of their stoves for heat. CHA says, in fact, at their properties, quote, temperature is registering at between 76 and 79 degrees and quote CHA checks on its residents and conducts well-being and heat checks every day during cold weather but if you are cold senior or not you don't have to be a senior to go into a building somewhere in the city and get the services that you need there are buildings in every neighborhood of the city that are available for folks who are vulnerable now, the water pipe behind me has been repaired, but my gosh, what a nightmare for this family who still has a basement full of cold water. Now, these temperatures are probably sticking around until at least the new year. So if you know somebody who is cold or you don't have heat yourself, call 311. They'll set you up with the services that you need. Reporting live from Kilbourne Park, Mark Rivera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you in the studio.